A prominent civil liberties group is taking Fort Wayne International Airport to court. The American Civil Liberties Union filed a lawsuit last week. The airport didn't find out about it until today when we called for comment. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney has been gathering information for us on this story. This involves those body scans. Well, this is where it all starts, right? The ACLU filed this lawsuit on behalf of Paul Anthony Stanton. He's opposed to those new TSA screening procedures, the full body scans, the pat-downs. He wanted to protest test them by passing out copies of the Constitution and some flyers to passengers inside the airport. Well, apparently that didn't go over very well with the airport. According to the ACLU, the airport authority told Stanton the airport prohibits most expressive activity within its terminals. They did give Stanton permission to protest outside the terminal near the entrances. That is where this lawsuit comes in. The ACLU filed it last Thursday in federal court. They say the airport is a public operated facility and it's violating Stanton's civil rights to protest. I think it's very sad. I, I think especially a, a place like um, Fort Wayne International Airport that, that doesn't necessarily see the, the degree of, of pedestrian traffic that, that some larger airports might. Now, we contacted the airport today, and officials just got their hands on the lawsuit today, but they're not commenting on this pending lawsuit just yet. In the meantime, we are working to talk with Paul Stanton this evening. You can hear more from him tonight on Nightcast at 11. Okay, thank you, Aisha. Sure.